Hey, it's John, your Gen X grandpa, and I've got another review for you. This time it is the GQ M20 RGB USB slash Bluetooth speakers. These are for your desktop or your laptop. They're really a nice set of speakers for their price point. I think they run around 30 bucks. And we're going to dig into everything there is to know about these speakers. Well, maybe not everything. So let me just go over what's on the box. And then, you know, there'll be some B-roll playing and things like that. And I'll talk about my personal experience with them as well. So it's got a single multi-function button that controls your volume, your power, your RGB lights, whether they're going in a pattern or solid or off as well as it also controls the mode that it's in. So that's whether it's a USB or Bluetooth. So each speaker is five watts. So you got 10 watts of output. Now these are not gonna, you know, shake the walls or anything like that, but they've got a decent sound and we'll see that in a, some of our demonstrations here later on. They need about one to two amps of power. So very low power so you can use a very simple um, little brick like this that you got hanging around the house to power them or you can plug them directly into your computer to use them in usb mode usb mode Hey, it's John, your Gen X grandpa, and today I want to talk about the, whoops, let's flip that over, Jiku G80 wireless gaming headset. Now, this has 7.1 surround sound. Like it says, it's wireless. It's got these fancy LEDs. Let me show you. Uh, see, it's got these fancy LEDs that are... Uh... For lightweight, they're one and a half pounds because there's no battery in them. You can use, however, one of these little portable batteries and make them portable. So that's a neat little thing, you know, kind of compromise that, that comes with these speakers. So pairing the GQ M20 speakers via Bluetooth is pretty simple. You just need to have the USB plug in a power source so you can use a standard plug like this, or if you want to go portable, you can get yourself one of these portable chargers. So you just double tap this button up here. Bluetooth mode. And now it's in Bluetooth mode and I have my phone here and we just need to go to pair a new device. And there's the GQM20, we'll tap that, pair. Device paired. And now that it's paired, we can continue playing the podcast and listen to it through the speakers. You know, with the absolute power turning you mad after a while, with Alexander, you can make that case. I mean, I guess there are historical figures where this is both a motif, because it's this recurring theme you see all the time, but it all... So here are the speakers right now. They're now in this, like, pulsating mode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one down and show you right here. If you click once that's going to change us to a different pattern of colors and then if you click once again you get solid red and then you go to this solid kind of bluish purplish and this teal and then they're completely off uh, the other thing is you got your your volume control knob up here and if you double click this, it changes mode. So it'll change from the USB to Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth mode. And then you do the same thing. Device this... paired. Okay, it just on the most generous space <laughs> with a great many sheets. <laughs> okay, let's let's pause the podcast here. So you see it pairs pretty quickly with a previously paired device. Uh, and we'll go back to USB mode. Our USB mode, which is what you would use when you're plugging it into your computer. Like I said, you can use one of these or plug it directly into your computer. I'm going to roll a little bit of B-roll here for you and probably talk over that. So you can sort of configure these speakers in one of two ways. You can have them as two separate speakers 
or as you can see here, you can turn them into a bar. One of the things that I've done is I've used these on my computer and I find them to work on my computer quite well. I've also used them on my television in my living room. Now, these aren't going to be the same as some of the sound bars that you get for televisions, but if you're in a smaller room, I think these would suffice and give you the sound that you're looking for, and they're typically going to be better, I think. I mean, you'd have to look at your television, but for the most part, I thought that these sounded better than my television. So those are the Jiku M20 USB Bluetooth desktop slash laptop speakers. I really want to thank Jiku for helping me out with these and sending these along. I appreciate it. And I'm really looking forward to working with them again. I really like their products. They're, they're well made and they're inexpensive. So I would highly recommend these if you're looking for a budget pair of desktop speakers where you're not so concerned about the sound response and things like that, but you definitely want it to sound better than your, say your laptop or some built-in speaker that you have with your computer. I'm John Eugenics Grandpa. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.